Well, here I am at the Big Bear Discovery Center where today is the Feast of the Harvest Moon, saluting the Native Americans. A lot going on, so let's tour. <laughs> And it's our way of thanking the great maker for what he's given us. Thanks. If you have questions or like to talk, I'll be somewhere around here. <laughs> and thanks. Have a wonderful day. Well, here is Elaine Meyer. And I remember this young man from last How year. How are you, he Elaine? Just fine. Channel 6 Big Bear. You betcha. Thank you. Look at all of her beautiful beadwork. You do all of this, don't you? I absolutely do. I know. And now, what is that uh, breastplate called? This is called? called a yoke. A yoke, yeah, yes, uh -huh. that's right. Yeah, and this is all done with applique beadwork. Uh huh. So each bead on one at a time. Oh, yes. Beautiful. How long does it take you to do something like oh, that? It probably took me over the course of uh, two years, on and off. I would just uh -huh. do it when oh, I yeah, would right. be enthused. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I'll show you the back. So beautiful. Oh, yeah. Isn't that something? Oh, and I also have what a beautiful Indian I'll come lady. Around and show you oh, look. oh, look at the boots. Are the shoes? Uh huh. The and, moccasins and, and leggings. Uh huh. And leggings. Mm -hmm. Wow. How beautiful. You are so beautiful. Thank you. I always Good love to, to chat you with again. you. Good seeing you. <laughs> this is the All Nation Circle. A big Bear Valley. And what this group does is they do wisdom, education, and uh, what is that down there? Enlightenment. And then there's something extra special, Linda, that you do. Uh, Let's yes. give a pitch for your trip. Yes, uh, on November 6th, I'm taking a large load of clothing and warm blankets 
that kind of school supplies. I've got crutches in there. Matter of fact, there's even two wedding dresses in there. Really? Yeah. That somebody donated. Beautiful wedding dresses to the Pine Ridge Reservation in South Dakota. It's the club. <laughs> one of the coldest, but it's the poorest reservation in the United States. Right. And uh, they don't make much. So yeah, what's the annual income there? $2,700 a year. And the reservation is how many people? Uh, the official census is 28,000. 28,000. And the unofficial is 40,000. Oh, man. I wish we could take a whole convoy of trucks yeah. up. Because yeah, yeah. what you take up is so well received. Yes, it was. And it helps what about how many people? They said I helped five to six hundred people last oh, year. Oh, how great. And my sponsor this year is the Sunset Lions Club. You betcha. So, so you need clothing, warm clothing, mm -hmm. coats, shoes, yes. not open toed or sandals. No, no, no. But boots, boots. things for the winter because yes. they get cold there. And right now it's getting we're in less than two weeks before I go. I'm getting a little I'm getting a little worried about the funding. Oh, really? Yeah, it's um, it hasn't been coming also? through. Yes, we could use any kind yeah, of for gas money. For, yeah, for the incidentals, I'm paying yes. for my own way. Right. But yeah, we could use um, uh, money for the you know gas. I got the trucks basically paid for, but uh -huh. by the time you had the insurance that yeah. I didn't know about last last time, the insurance and the taxes and et cetera, it came out to more than I thought it would be. Right. So. Well, give us your number twice. Okay. My phone number is... You, you is, don't need the 909. No, I know. I never yeah. do that. It's 585-0542. And if anybody would like to send a donation, they can send it to the Sunset Lions Club at P.O. Box 6692, Big Bear Lake, 92315. That's and great. if you forget that, you can remember my number, 585-0542, and I'll tell you how to do it. Great. And everything will be appreciated. Yeah, I know it will. As it gets closer to Christmas, folks, this will be an early Christmas yes. for those poor yes. people I know, on that um, reservation. Uh, the uh, Mallard Bay uh, Lodge, uh, motel, uh -huh. whatever you want to call it, uh -huh. and had gave me uh, quite a few comforters, and Black Forest Lodge gave me, I think it was about 20 at last count. Oh, wonderful. So there's a lot of stuff in and there. And you need blankets, too. Yes, blankets, blankets too. Clothing. Mm -hmm. Clothing. And it's not some money to help yes. expenses. So, yeah, my expenses, I'm paying my own. Yeah, my motel and food and all that. But, yeah, you hauls yeah. uh, don't get 30 miles of a gallon. No, no, that was $566 <laughs> last year. Worth of gas. Oh, okay. There and back. In February, yes. Sure. And I think gas is higher than it was in February. Yeah, right now. I think it was. So, yeah, they. So, folks, help Linda out to help out those wonderful people on the reservation. Thank you, Ron. Thanks, Linda. Always good seeing you. Good seeing you, too. And you do it, folks, this week, because she leaves in two weeks. Yeah, so less than two weeks now. Two weeks from yesterday. You bet. Thanks, Linda. Thank you, Ron. They have a lot of to-do things here at this <laughs> yeah. uh, festival. Look at all of them. Ooh, they're going oh. away. Hopefully the wind won't come up and blow all the supplies over there. Oh, I see a worm in there. Here no, just kidding. <laughs> ah, look at them all gluing, pasting. Aren't that beautiful? Look what she's doing. Real pretty. Let's go to another one. This is all of the things that they uh, get to put on that, on their cardboards here. This is the kids' craft area. This always has a huge crowd. The parking lot is filled. Uh, Highway 18 in front of here has cars parked up and down. There's kids painting. Look at just everything. Look how, how it all is here. Oh, man. And they have people of the pines. This is always a good one. And it has what type of pines? We don't have just one pine tree here, a Dewey Robin. We have several uh, various pine trees. Yes, we do. We have a lot of pine trees. We have Ponderosa pines, Jeffrey pines, 
pinion pines, sugar pines, lodgepole pines, uh, just to name a few. Uh, I know so it. we have a lot of all of those in this area. Right. Now, the lodgepole pine, I always thought it was just one, but it's a... Uh, uh, a, variety, a variety of pines, the lodgepole. Yeah. It's a large one, isn't it? They grow large? The largest one known to exist, actually, is over there off of Mill Creek Road. Right. Up in the, yeah. So that area has uh, lodgepole pine groves. Uh-huh. So they are all collected together. But there's none of them on this side. This this side of the valley is Jeffrey Pines, Pinion, yes. and uh, Junipers. Right, yeah. right. So, how neat. Look at these, the pinion posts. They have a lot of pinion trees, a lot of them in the East Valley, and uh, down Highway 18, the back way. And you can go and harvest them yourselves, and then uh, you roast them in your oven. Actually, here are some you can taste if you want. Yeah, I've tasted them raw, tasted them. This is, this is what they taste like right out of the... Right out of the shell. Right really? out of the shell, yeah. Yeah. Pine Pretty nuts, good. Right out of the shell. Nuts. Yeah. Oh, very good. Are they good? I love nuts. These are great. <laughs> so what is How the neat. pine nut long grain? This stays are not going to stay as long because this the This is acorn. Mm -hmm. An okay. acorn and acorn And then what you do, right. I can't do this. <laughs> well, then what you do is you take this, once it's dry, and you're going to crack it open on a stone. This one actually has a bug in it, and so I'm going to show you that. And you're going to use one hand or two, a little bit of torque, not a lot. You don't want this thing to flatten like a pancake. You basically want to crack the shell is what you want to do. And did you hear a crack? Okay, it doesn't look like it's going to open all the way, so I'm going to do it one more time. And see what happened? Mine had a hole in it. Okay, we'll just pick him up. He's not going nowhere. And he has a So she has a bad one, see? And then once... These are rain sticks that they're making. See, it's rolls of paper, and then they paint them, and they show you how they are. See? How neat. Look at that one. That's a pretty one there. That's really neat. But look at all of these. They get to paint them. And when you're all done, you shake them, and you get rained on, right? Yes. I'm going to move it over here. How neat. This is forest aid, folks. This is from ashes to action. And I tell you, with the Butler fire, the Butler 2 fire, the slide fire, and all of our fires, we need to replant little saplings. And how many have we replanted? I think, what, 200,000 or what, David? Last year we did 20,250. 20,250 last year. Yes, sir. Wow. And it takes a while for them to grow, but your ground covering goes first, doesn't it? After a couple of years after fire, you're starting to see a lot of green and flowers and all that. Then the trees start up and it's reforested. Good. And you need a lot of volunteers. You need a lot of volunteers. Yeah. yeah. They a check lot of trees here. To plant. We'll be out of the year in 2010. Are you really? Yeah, you're pretty much done for this year, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. So they would sign up here at the Discovery Center? Yeah, I think it's under the Discovery Center at forestaid.net. Right. So. That's really good. So, folks, it's fun to get out in the forest, plant, and know that you're doing something it's, good. It's a great experience. We got groups last year, whether it's uh, Boy Scouts, Girl Scouts, church groups, club groups. They can come as a group, come individually, usually spend about three hours in uh -huh. a period planting. We teach them, furnish the tools, uh -huh. furnish the safety equipment, and the instruction. You just have a great time in the forest planting trees. I know. Isn't that great? It's just a super, it's super good. family group thing to do. Yeah. I went through a lot of the area, the burned areas, where they've had a lot of tree plantings, and it's really neat. And what you do is you plant the trees, and then you s protect them with a little netting Thing around yes. to keep it from being trampled uh, yes. by Depending the animals. Depending on the area, sometimes we actually put netting and little flags. Other areas, we'll take a piece of uh, of a tree trunk or tree limb that's around and lay it very close to it, uh -huh. protect it and shade it. 
and make it sure that you can tell where it is. That's great. Depends on the area. You bet. Well, folks, that, this is a lot. You got to read for it. Forest Aid. And you can get the uh, information at www.forestaid.net. Wow, look at these. Whoops. Gee, aren't these beauts? What breed? This is an Alaskan Malamute. Uh, Alaskan Malamute. And oh. this is a mutt. <laughs> and this is a mutt? Yes. When a mutt. Was, when he was barely weaned, he was abandoned on the North Shore bike path. Really? And somebody called us and said, there's this dog. Wow. And now he's ours. And he was just small at that time? Or this size? Yeah. Really? He was a little dog with giant paws. When I heard he had giant paws, what? I said, we'll take him. You bet you knew he'd grow up to be a big boy. Well, he had to because he was going to live with that one and another one. Yeah, aren't they beautiful? Do they shed a lot? Oh. Yeah. They're furry. Yeah. And now they're getting their winter coat ready yeah. and to yeah. come on. They shed twice yeah, he weighs a year. He does twice pounds. a year. Really? A few were bigger, now. most aren't. Uh, this time of the year and in the spring. Oh, in this, uh, this time in spring. Yeah. But he loves Great. Sleeps outside. Well, they're sure beautiful. Look at them. There you have it. One of the best tacos you'll ever see. These are uh, Indian tacos. And they use, um, uh, well, they fry, you know, like a, like a flatbread. And then they just pile everything high. And it's yummy. I bet it is. <laughs> bet you don't go away hungry, do you? Oh, no. Ah, cool. Thanks. Go ahead and eat. Well, this has been absolutely perfect weather for the wonderful festival of the fall moon here. Really, really good. We've been at the Discovery Center, and there's a lot more going on. There's going to be more dancing, but you saw one of the dancers there. There's going to be storytelling and pumpkin carving and a whole lot of things. But my time is up here, so don't go away. I'll be back right after these messages from my sponsors. <laughs>